Hey, it's Sean here from P2R. Today I got an R70 block that I'm, we just finished building here. Pistons, rods, balance, completely assembled. I just want to finish it off, put the oil pump, water pump, and take you guys along for the process. So first I'm going to get this block here upside down. And the very first thing I want to do is put this oil pipe in. Since this was a brand new block from Honda, this does not come pre-installed in there. And you definitely don't want to install the oil pump without having that in place first. The oil pump itself does not use a gasket. It's actually meant to go on with Honda Bond. So what I have here is a tube with a Honda Ultra Flange 2. It's a nice easy squeeze can. I put that um, on the oil pump. And the oil pump has two dowel pins that um, are used to help make sure you're lining it up properly. You also have to make sure your crank or your oil pump um, center ring is lined up properly to go over the crank. Once you have that in, you got dowel pins in place. We'll go ahead and um, we're putting all brand new bolts, all new hardware on this engine. Since it's, it's a brand new motor, we want everything to look good. These bolts come with uh, Loctite already pre-installed on them from Honda, which is very nice. Um, I'm just going to catch the first few threads by hand. And from there, I'll just use my DeWalt and kind of just speed up the process uh, a little bit. However, I'm not going to zap them at all. I am going to torque these to 12 newton meters with my torque wrench. I just kind of use a gun just to kind of get me there quickly. Torquing these, pretty simple. It's very light because these are a six millimeter bolt, which um, most commonly refer to just using a 10 millimeter socket. Um, once that's in place, the very next step here is the baffle plate. This is essentially pretty easy. It lines up and uh, we got all new hardware here again. Just going to go ahead and catch these all by hand, get them all down into place. And these are actually torquing to the same 12 Newton meters. So I'm going to skip one here because we have to put the oil pickup. Um, the oil pickups, when you buy them brand new from Honda like this, they come with an O-ring, which is nice. We're going to get that lined up and then you'll see why I left that open hole there. I like so I can catch these last three bolts. Just kind of got to hold it in place. Make sure that O-ring is on your oil pickup before you put it on the oil pump because that is very important to have that in place. So again, I torque these to spec just like I did the oil pump. When using a little torque wrench like this, it's really nice because it gives you a nice click when you reach the spec. It's very easy to over tighten a six millimeter bolt. Actually, a lot of people that have a heavy hand tend to snap them pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and get the block turned over so that I can get onto the water pump. The water pump comes with a seal already pre-installed. So, you know, you just kind of want to make sure it's in place. There's two dowel pins on the back of the water pump that will allow the pump to sit in place until you go ahead and start to put the screws in. So that's very nice. These are actually using the same torque spec as everything else we've done in this video, 12 Newton meters and you'll be all set. So you just want to get those all put in place, get it torqued down, and then we can basically move on to what would be the final step for this video. There's an orifice fit in that goes on the top of this block. Since it was brand new, it didn't come pre-installed. So I won't be able to finish up from here, but um, we'll catch back up on the next video and we'll just go to get these head studs in place for now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Unfortunately, I was missing a couple of items I wasn't able to finish today. But if you like what you saw today, please like, hit the bell icon, and subscribe, and you can follow on as I finish this engine in another video. Thank you.